Hi graduates, it's Miss T and whether I taught you or not, I am so proud of all of you and happy to wish you congratulations on making it through four years of high school and I want to wish you the best for your futures and have a wonderful, wonderful experience post academy. I hope you will look back on your time here fondly and with good memories and focus on the positives, not on the negatives. Let me give you some advice. If I've taught you, I've given you a lot of advice before. Um, but I actually recently watched Kinky Boots with my ninth graders. Do you remember being ninth graders? You were itty bitty ninth graders once. And that's another lesson, time flies, right? So um, one of the messages in the play was live by these six kind of adages and you can never really go wrong. And they resonated with me. And rather than me try to fortune cookie you, I'm stealing from the play to share these messages with you because they work for the rest of your life, not just in college. So number one, pursue the truth always always look for um, meaning, always research what you're doing, always try to find out as much as you can about everything. This is the best part of your life to explore and seek new things and quench your thirst for knowledge. I loved, I loved, loved, loved the time period you are about to enter because you're not yet burdened with responsibilities and you can really fulfill your thirst for knowledge in the best way. Um, when you're post-academy, learn something new. Please take opportunities, try something new, um, take risks, right? Just careful risks and please um, learn new things. We never stop learning. I'm an old lady and I still try to learn something new all the time and that's really part of being human and part of being alive. Um, accept yourself and accept others. Don't beat yourself up over things or people or expectations. You are who you are and learn to love yourself. And the same goes for the rest of humanity. Accept people for who they are and try to be more accepting of others post high school. Hopefully that um, is something you've learned over four years at Academy. Um, let love shine. If you approach the world with love in your heart, um, you'll have a better outcome. You really will. And like I'm starting to get all mushy over here. Uh, if you're going to see me at graduation, I'm going to cry so much. I apologize. Okay, I'm going to stop now. Um, let pride be your guide. Always be really proud of yourselves and everything you've accomplished. You've come so far and nobody else knows what you've been through. And that should be a measure of pride for you. So keep that definitely within yourself. Um, and the final one is change. I know I'm like cheating. I'm looking. I had to write them down. Um, change the world by changing your mind, which is just basically translates to being open minded. Please just take everything in that you're going to experience the rest of your life um, with a really open mind, looking at all sides, and maybe a lot of things and a lot of people won't be your preference or your cup of tea, right? But just be open to things, and your experience and you as a person will just grow and learn so much. So I am honored to have been along for your ride um, these past four years. Whether I know you or not, congratulations, you made it. Um, enjoy your celebration, and I wish you nothing but the best in your future endeavors post-academy. Congratulations, class of 2021. You all deserve this. You have worked hard throughout these past four years, and I am so impressed with you all. Congrats on graduating. Congrats on getting into college. Congrats on wherever life takes you. My one piece of advice for you all is to be true to yourself. And I know that sounds cliche. I know people have told you this throughout the year, but truly college is the time to figure out who you are. Join clubs, join organizations, take that internship, do that job. Whatever it may be that you truly want to do, do it. You're going to find who you are. You're going to find your new hobbies. You're going to find your lifelong friends. Take advantage of everything college and life gives you. 
You guys have made me so proud. I am proud to know you all. I am proud to have taught some of you guys, and I can't wait to see where life takes you. Congrats again, guys. Dear graduating class of 2021, congratulations. I wish you the very best and much success in your future, whether it be college, work, or anything else you decide to pursue. Enjoy, and I hope your years at Academy were memorable, and you look back on them in the years to come with joy. Take care, visit soon, and congratulations. Bye. Seniors, it's Jacobs. And so of course, this has to be a moment when there's a bad joke. What did the boy volcano say to the girl volcano? I love you so much. That's how you're gonna remember me. You're gonna forget all the American history you learned in my class or government or law or whatever it is you did learn from me. Anyway, I wanna wish you the best of luck in the future, whatever your fu wherever your future may take you. Here's my advice. Try to have fun in your life as much as you can. Laugh whenever you can. Two, if you're in a job in a few years and you don't like it, for God's sake, get rid of that job. Find something that you do like to do. Three, do things for other people. You will find you will get a tremendous satisfaction in your life when you can do things for other people. I'm going to keep this video short. I love all you guys, and I hope everyone, guys and girls, and I wish you all the very best of luck in the future, and come back and visit us sometime, but I'll probably be hiding from you. Bye-bye. Hi, seniors. Miss V here coming from my living room. I know I haven't been able to see you guys since at least last March. And I'm so proud of you all for getting to this point and for graduating. I had some of you guys as sophomores, juniors. I had some of you this year. So I really wanted to come on here and give you guys some advice that I wish my teachers or someone older than me when I was in high school told me. First thing is never do something that doesn't make you happy. I know that's like the typical, well, duh. But if you're in a major in college and you're not happy, switch that major. If you're working for a job you don't like, apply to a different one. You do not have to settle for something because someone told you you have to or for other reasons. Do something that makes you happy. Don't go to work every day miserable and don't choose a life that you wouldn't want to live. I know that sounds pretty uh, typical, but seriously, think about that when you are choosing what you're doing in the future. Second thing is to always be kind to one another, anyone. There's so much hate in the world and it costs nothing to be a nice person. So always remember that and um, come visit. If you guys ever think of Miss V or anyone else from Academy, we all will remember you as the only class that has experienced COVID uh, and fully remote learning in their senior year. So please make sure to come visit us or see us at some point. But good luck in all the endeavors that you guys have. Please keep in contact and have a great summer. Hi everyone. I know you're a bit overwhelmed by quotes these days, but there's a quote from Jodie Foster that I'm gonna share with you anyway. Um, she's an actress and a director, and she said your path is your character defining itself more and more every day, like a photograph coming into focus. And um, this resonated with me because I see a lot of the stress that a lot of you are carrying around, thinking that you have to have it all, you know, figured out, that you have to have your plan in place about, you know, what to do with your life and how you're going to get there. And, um, you know, if this year has taught us anything, um, I think it's that you can have, you know, terrific plans, but sometimes they get derailed. Um, but it also, I think, has highlighted, I hope, for you, you know, your incredible, incredible resilience. And um, so I hope that that's what you're going to keep with you, that resilience, you know, along with a bit of patience. And um, I think the right picture for you will begin to develop. And um, I would just add also to tell everyone that you love, that you love them and enjoy the ride. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2021. I am so proud of you. I'm so excited for you. Um, as much as I'm gonna miss you guys next year, I couldn't be happier to see you go off and do such amazing, wonderful things. 
It's been my absolute pleasure and honor to get to know so many of you over the last few years. You make me laugh. You inspire me. You have been nothing but exceptional students, and I know that you are on your way to being exceptional human beings. I wish you nothing but the best, and I cannot wait to hear about it, so make sure you keep me posted. I'm always here if you need a laugh, a sounding board, a cup of coffee. Um, I do hope that you will check in from time to time with all of us at Academy to tell us all of the amazing and wonderful things that you are enjoying and exploring and, and trying. And I think that that's maybe the best advice I can give you. Try new things, take yourself out of your comfort zone. If something doesn't work out, don't give up. Don't be afraid, try something else. Um, everything is just starting for you. There's no expiration date, there's no finish line. Um, everything is open and available and it's your chance and turn to make things happen. Um, do your best, be honest, be good, make mistakes, get in a little bit of trouble, just the good trouble. And I truly, truly, truly think you've got it whatever it is to get those dreams, it's all you. And it's been nothing but fun and joy to get to know you over these few years. And I'm so proud of the people that you've grown to become. And I can't wait to see what you do next. Good luck, congratulations, and I love you. Woo, you did it. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know, clap your hands. Remember, class of 2021, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. So go for it. No, really. <laughs>